boom boom welcome it is i tj and welcome to another video and um, this is where we talk anything and everything around property today we want to talk about airbnb what is airbnb well for some of you you might not know this is an application that you have it sits on the internet airbnb all they do is that you as someone who owns a property or someone who might rent a property or someone who's got access to a property you might have a property and then you go on to airbnb you can register so it's a platform like facebook a lot of us we are accustomed to facebook you jump on on airbnb and you register there once you register there's a few things that is needed to do you need to do what is called a listing it is all for free to join but not everyone makes money out of airbnb and I want to, this video here is all about talking about how to start and make money with Airbnb. I'm going to take an assumption there that you actually have a property. It might be a back room. It might be a room in your house, a spare room. It might be a property that you actually own. You might be, it doesn't matter. For as long as you have legal access to this property, you can put it on Airbnb. So Airbnb is actually a facility that then allows you to register. When you register, you put your listings on there. When you put your listings on there, the next thing that happens is that you can make it live. When you make it live, it basically means that everyone, customers that are on Airbnb, people who are ready to find an accommodation, be it for a night, be it for two days, for a week, for a month, or potentially even a year, they can then find this property. I want to stress the fact that you are not the only person who has actually listed on Airbnb. It is important that when you go onto Airbnb, before you start to list your property, maybe it is actually good of you to see within the area where you have access to this property or where you own this property to look in the properties that are on Airbnb and to see what others are offering. Are they offer, offering Wi-Fi? Are they offering free laundry? Are they offering free pickups from the airport? What are they offering? Out of that, you can then also now jump into your uh, uh, property that you have access to and you can now start to document the things that you want to offer as your Airbnb. So if it is a back room or whatever room it is that you've got, the point here is if everyone else is charging, let's say 400 rand a night, you need to look into Genahua of this property, the Swan Swan, to make sure that your property is also looking Swam Swam. What do I mean by Swam Swam? I basically mean that how does it feel? How does it look? How elegant is it? right? How is the beds made for the other people? Because these are the people that you are going to be competing with. So if your property doesn't look so nice, if you don't have pictures, nice pictures of your property, the chances are someone else is going to come in and look at it and say, mm, nah, I wouldn't like to stay here. Bear in mind, this is almost like dating, right? So you need to put your best foot out there to showcase what your property is all about, okay? And that's what Airbnb does. So now you have your property and there you are, you've put in all of the services that you're going to be offering, but who are you going to be offering this to? So potentially you could be looking for uh, people that are moving from, from, time, from town to town. You're potentially moving, for, there's a concert in your area whatever event that might be happening that you might be attracting customers from, then in your Airbnb, that's what you need to put in. Because if you have to put in for what people are looking for, chances are when they are looking for that, it's also going to come, your property is also going to come up. When it does come up, that's when they are going to see. Let's talk about taking, designing the room. Well, nobody wants to go and stay in a shady place. So put the best foot forward. Does it have to be colorful? I think colorful is good, but not overdoing it. 
I also think that making it just plain white, I kind of like white, like white all the way on my beddings, things like that. But can you put in a dash of red? Can you put in a dash of different color here and there just to break the whiteness? Yes, you can. Can you work with someone who is called a designer to design your first room? If you're not so good at designing, yes, you can. So you see the possibilities of what you can do from a design perspective. There are so many of them. But what if you don't have the money to do all of that? Make it pretty. What do I mean by pretty? Make it look like you are inviting your partner, the one that you've been wooing for a long time, and they are coming to see you for the first time, right? Making it look good. Make it look clean. Then look for a professional photographer. I always say this is more important than anything else. Professional photographer is going to make sure that your genatoire that you've put in is going to be putting out there on the picture because that's what's going to sell your property, right? And then everything else that you have also seen other people offering, now you've put in all of these on your listing, which now means that not only do you have a fully designed place, which is looking super, super nice, not only do you have good services and you have looked at other people what they're offering, but now you have actually documented and you've got pictures of it. Now you can take all of this onto Airbnb and you can make your place go live. When it goes live, what do you do? You can also promote yourself the same. So the Airbnb is going to give you a link to say this is where your listing is. You can also broadcast it to your people that you know. What do I mean by that? People need to know what you're doing. If people don't know what you're doing, they are not ever going to help you. So tell as many people that you can that I'm, on doing, Airb I'm doing Airbnb so that they can also refer you to other people. Word of mouth is more powerful than anything else. And then thereafter, you will potentially get a beep. We call it the money beep from M5. So when the money beep goes, ding, you know that you've got a guest. And at this time, that's when you can actually jump in to see who is it that is actually booked in. From there on, you can start talking to your guests, find out what they are looking for. Can you be able of service to them? And if the answer is yes, it means that you have some money. That person is going to come in. And as and when they come in, your role is to make sure that you become the possible host that you can become. In no time, you might find yourself getting more accolades to become a super host. What does it mean to be a super host? It basically means that you are the person who is doing well in Airbnb. That's what it means. Of course, you're getting more people to come through to your place. And over and above that, you are also getting cha-ching. It is good to get some cha-ching. Well, if this information has been great and it has helped you to start off in Airbnb, and this is the kind of information that you want, I'm of the view that anyone can do this for as long as you have access to a property. It doesn't have to be the full property. It can be a room. I've also seen caravans. I've seen caves. I've seen all funny things. But for as long as you've got access to it and the rights to use it, you can literally do this Airbnb and make some money for yourself. Think of it this way. You can rent a place from someone else, make it Airbnb. Your risk is to pay the rent. And thereafter, you could be making more money from just renting that place. But make sure that the landlord understands that you are renting that place for Airbnb. It is time to hit that button, which is subscribe if you've never subscribed. My name is TJ. It's been great hanging out with you and I'll check you out on the next video.